know, after all these years, I still keep thinking there must be some way to recognize them. I mean, on sight, you know? Killers, rapists. There just isn't. Evil looks like everybody else. Fascinating. I'll tell you what gets me here. So next time that bastard rapes somebody, he's going to kill her. And the judge knows it, and his high-priced lawyers know it. Order. The defendant will please rise. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant guilty of rape in the first yeah. degree. Oh. Now, you must have faith in the law, Anthony. It's all that holds us together. Assistant District Attorney Benton's office. This is Captain Sample, State Police. And we've been watching this place for days, and we found some videotapes of actual rapes. And we thought you should see them since they... Uh, We thought it was just drugs. Uh, just, just a moment. I'll see if she's in. I just know she could have any job she wanted, any law firm anywhere, and name her price. Maybe she just likes the element. <laughs> Eastfield County? That's only where the videotapes were found. According to the tapes themselves, he claims the rapes occurred in some apartment here in town. Now, if that's true, it's our case. Yeah, it's about an hour's drive. You want detectives? Uh, and if I ask Vice to lend us any more detectives, they will go right through no, the No, no, I think this is a big one. Maybe narcotics can lend us. Yes, yes, there are drugs involved in this. <sighs> come on, come on, Crawford, it's worth a try. Yes. Mom and 
dad still can't understand why I married him. Well, I can. Practice starts in two hours. Daddy's taking us to lunch after this. What is Joe hoping for? Head of narcotics. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, cat, what do you say? You say champ? Unless, uh, unless Joe, it's inconvenient. Not at all. How are you, Joe, darling? You remember so Chief Cirillo, you... right? This is her. Helen, how are you? It's a pleasure. How are you? Can I talk to you a second? Excuse me. Yeah. It's political. Mary. Come on, okay. let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, I'll call you later. Bye bye. Sorry. Come on. Mary. No. You... Mary, Cirillo is my sponsor. Come on, he wants to have lunch with me so he can give me my new assignment. What am I supposed to do? Tell him you'll have lunch with him tomorrow. The man is chief of the tech. Joe, this thing means a lot to all of us. It's not just you. We planned on this. We looked forward to this. What, you think if you have lunch with him tomorrow, you won't get your promotion? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, will take, you? Uh, take Susie to the car. I want to have lunch with It's not about the lunch. I don't care about the lunch. You do this all the time. Do what? We make plans as a family, and somehow they never seem to happen. This is my job! Right. You know, if anyone should be upset here, it's me. What? I asked you to come early. I kept peeking out of the audience. You weren't there. I thought maybe something happened to you. Sorry, the traffic was terrible. Well, what time did you leave? Early. I made a mistake. Oh, what? You took a long time? Joe. So, no, what kind of mistake? Joe, if I'd known... That your husband was just being promoted. I went to art school. Are you kidding? Joe, with any kind of normal traffic, no, I could have... forget it. Joe, a Tuesday mornings I have art school, and the entire week that's all I have. I don't believe this. Joe! Well, today wasn't important enough for you to consider this again? I missing. made a mistake! You tell me today is so important. Joe, your but... job matters to you as a passion, and I understand that. Well, my painting is just as important to me, only you don't seem to understand that at all. Maybe it's because you never even try. Do you like my hair? Your hair? What did you do to your hair? You ever eaten here before? Yeah, well, you'll be eating here a lot now. It's where all the top brass go. I'm telling you, Joe, I got a big kick out of the ceremony this morning. It made me feel like it was for me, too, you know? And looking at you there in the front row, reminded me of the time you first came into the department. I got you into the precinct. You know, part of the fun of this job is seeing somebody you spotted early on doing well. Yeah, with your help. Come on, come on. That's the way it's supposed to be. Everybody needs somebody to keep an eye on them. Speaking of which, I asked the commissioner to give you a head of narcotics. When he tells you, act surprised. Sure you don't mind taking me to practice? Thanks, Mark. Pearson. How are you? Pleasure, Inspector. You're lucky to have me as a good man. Good. I'm sorry. I have to know what he did in detail. You'll be asked in court. There's no way to avoid it. Excuse me. I've got his office on the line. Absolutely. Assistant Absolutely. District Absolutely. Attorney Benton on the phone. Something about sex tapes. We got you, Joe. <laughs> I'm all lighting no, you off. No big line deal. Line four. Well, besides all that, I just think we should meet. Detectives. Here's the car in front. She wants to borrow my detectives. Does she say that? No, 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 no. Feeds me some cockamamie story about sex tapes, right? Drugs in Eastfield County. 
and asked me to drive out there with her and look the stuff over. Like, what, I got nothing to do here? I mean, what is this woman, crazy? Do it. Diane Benton's a very powerful person. You do things for her, she'll do things for you. Oh, yes, of course. We met at the... Student orientation. I also teach English. You asked me about the curriculum. <laughs> I want to apologize for uh, staring. I didn't recognize you at first. You changed your hair, I think. Yes. I like it. It's very attractive. By the way, your son is a good player. He's one of the best on our squad. Oh, thank you. Look, I have to get back, but stop by any time, okay? Hey, come on, fellas. Come on. Heads up, heads up. and I most wanted to have lunch with today and just somehow couldn't. Gave me head of narcotics. I knew they would. Mm. I'm sorry about the dash. I shouldn't have made a scene. Nah. No, it was the wrong time. Come on. Mm. It's time to celebrate. Inspector Hearn, I do believe. Yes. Come in. Thank you. You can send Mr. Hara in. Nice to meet you. I tried to reach you, but you'd already left. A rape case just came in. It won't take too long. Do you want to sit in? Uh, well, she won't be uncomfortable. Well, no more so than she already is. Just uh, keep your jacket open so she can see your gun. If she knows you're a cop, it'll be all right. Have you had much experience with rape? No. Miss O'Hara, the statement you gave the police lacks detail. Now, detail is crucial. The charges have to be specific. The law requires that. Well, for example, rape is one crime. Oral sex is another. Anal sodomy, another. 
Now, another reason for detail, when we do finally go to trial, the jury's instinct will be to disbelieve you. And the defense is going to go after you. They'll try and break you down. They'll try and discredit you. Now, only if we build a case on specific detail will you be believed. I understand. Now, how many times did he penetrate you? I can't remember. So more than once. I have to know. Three times, I think. Did he penetrate you anywhere else? I'm sorry, but they'll ask you this in court. If you want to convict this man, you'll have to say. Yes. Where? Did he force you to use your mouth? If you feel the need any time, night or day, please call. And if you lose this card, I'm still in the book. How come you give out your home number? No one in law enforcement does that, do they? Not with all the loonies. It's my job to force the victim back over every detail, especially the one she doesn't want to talk about. Why? I have to collect evidence. And I have to prepare her for court, where it will get really rough. I mean, much worse than this. I mean, the defense will go after her. <sighs> Sometimes I'm not sure which is worse, the rape or court. Of course, I have to make sure she's telling the truth. Did you think she was? Well, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. I was just thinking if the girl was telling the truth without corroborating evidence, you'd never convict. Mm. Jerry will want to believe she led the guy on. Well, you know that. Only justice that girl ever gets is the detectives you sent to arrest the creep break his legs. Oh, God. It's like in the old days. Uh-huh. Right. And you'd condone that? Of course not. Hmm. Tapes are upstairs. <clears throat> Maybe you'd feel more comfortable if we showed these first to Inspector Hearn. Coming to where you can see the rapes take place. It's in the city because you can see the old clock tower through the window. Right there. Okay, freeze it. We want a blow up of that. Right. Now, further on, you can see the guy's face. The girl rips his mask off. It's just for a second. Reason. Yes, well, we'll want blow-ups of all of this. Have any of the girls been identified? No. Do you think they'd come forward? Well, men like this would kill them if they did. That's what they're counting on. And the girls know it. I don't think you should drop the case. Let these county boys handle it. No, it's a sketch case. Well, what does that mean? It means if we crack it, it's front page. We? Yeah. You 
With all due respect, have you any idea how much time and manpower? No, we can find the apartment they used by matching the view of the clock tower in the photo, and once we do that, we've got them. Oh, it sounds simple enough. Can we stop for a minute? I'm not used to seeing women raped. Thought it hadn't touched you. Well, I'm good at my job. <laughs> my job demands I act like that. It's yeah, a hard job. Uh-huh. Well, it's no harder than yours. Will you loan me some detectives? No, you knew I was going to ask you that. Well, my detectives are narcotics, you know, not rape. So. Yes, but narcotics are involved no, no, in this. No, narcotics brought small time stuff here. I can't put my men in that. You're wasting their time. So how about three detectives for a month? Hey, is the wind blowing my voice? All right, let's say two detectives. Direction. Oh, only two now. Well, but for six weeks, not Can for we a go month. Back to the car, please? No, not until this is resolved. This is resolved. Not, not in my book, it isn't. I am going. Bye. <laughs> I really have no need to worry about me. I'll be fine. See, I went to camp. I know how to build fires. Is this how you get confessions? I'll tell you what, I will take those two detectives for a month. What two detectives? The ones that you just gave me. I didn't give you any detectives here. You took them. Right, but now I'm only going to keep them for one month. I mean, you can forget about the six weeks. Hey, how's this for a first and final offer? I'll give you three detectives and for a day. For a week. I think this is a dream. And, and I will let you keep one detective. Oh, really? Unless you want to give me three. No! Two it is. Agreed. Thank you. Should we go? You must be terrific in court, huh? In what? Court. Oh. Okay, gents, let's jump high. Nice. Up high, high as you can go. Come on. Concentrate now. Let's go. Hey, Mom, you stay and watch? I'm sorry, I can't, honey. Do you think you can get a ride home with Donnie afterwards? The work's going really well. Yeah, no problem. Okay, good. You look good out there. Good boy. Hey, tell me about her. You made a bet on what you'd say first thing when you came in. Tell me about her. <laughs> Never again. Among the first in her class at Harvard. Could have had a pick of any law firm. Instead, chose this. God knows why. Her father's a famous jurist, Edward Alston. Her name's Benton because she was married once to a Mr. Benton, and now she's married to her job. What else? Pearson's good. <laughs> Listen, I want you to find the two detectives, give them to her for a week. And when a week's up, no matter what, take them back, huh? And if uh, she calls to complain, which she will, I'll I'd appreciate, appreciate your handling it. That's what we're here for. I tell you, Pearson's good. Mm -hmm. Potential. Oh, <laughs> I thought Donnie's mother was driving you home. Oh, no, he stayed on to run laps. Then you should have called me. This isn't right. Hey, I was headed this way anyway. Uh, Are you uh, painting the house? No. Oh. Uh, but it could use it. Mom's an artist. She's really great. Why don't you show him some of your stuff? <laughs> Billy. Teacher at art school says she's the best in her class. I'd love to see your stuff. Oh, did Vicky call? Uh, yes. Oh, thanks for the lift, Mr. Loftus. Sure. Young love. I majored in art in college. It was my one real passion, and then things happened. I Like you raised a family. Right. Well, what's life without the unexpected? <laughs> anyway, I've just recently taken it back up. You never should have stopped. You're very good. Oh. No, it's true. Oh. This is the one I'm working on now. My uh, teacher's really excited by it. I can see why. I think she's referring to the sense of volume. Ah. And proportion. Ah. It is rather sensual. How often do you go in for classes? 
Unfortunately, just once a week. Tuesday mornings. It's really all I can manage. Darling. Hi. How was your day? It's okay. How about you? It's all right. Sorry, Mrs. Hearn, the inspector's not here. Mr. Loftus! Mrs. Hearn. Inspector, this Benton woman is starting to get furious with me. She wants her detectives back. I think you got to see her. Do yeah, anything else? Uh, your wife called. Didn't sound like anything urgent. Hey, I'm a little hungry. How about you? How about some lunch? What about your appointment? I can meet him later. Come on. I'm not kidding, really, I find this truly amazing. I mean, here I am, bursting to tell somebody what just happened. I'm on the verge of talking to strangers, and suddenly, there you are, Mr. Loftus. Marty. Mary. <laughs> Marty, you gotta understand my art teacher. She's like, uh, she's like grumpy in the seven dwarfs, and today, she said, I was one of the best students she's ever had. That's great. I tried to call Joe, but he wasn't in. I think this calls for champagne. Mary, this is really beautiful. My art teacher said I should have it framed. I've never heard her then say you should. that before. I've made up my mind, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go more often. This is what I've always wanted to do. Then do it. With a talent like this, you've got to. Here, 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 here. I think I better go. Do you really want to? No, that's why I think I better go. Mary, Mary, I'm not about to make you do anything you don't want. And even if I wanted to, I doubt very much I could. Well, I think I'm drunk. You're not drunk. You're excited, and you're having a good time, and you're passionate, and you were more beautiful than anything anyone could draw. <laughs> Marty, I... I'm an old married woman. Not quite. How about a walk? If you promise not to hold my hand. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You've got a lot of stipulations. That's the deal. How about what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. Sure you do. It's the same thing you're thinking. Oh, Marty. What's the harm you're thinking? God, I feel like I'm back in college. <laughs> so you took your detectives off our case. Leaving the rapiers? Uh-huh. Why? Yeah, uh, whatever the assistant district attorney is having there is fine for me. Well, uh, they weren't getting anywhere, you know, and they're supposed to be narcotics detectors. But the drug so, uh, part of the case hasn't been developed yet. I did promise you a week. It's what I gave you. I know. I know. It took them nearly a week just to get stills from the tapes. That left them no time to find the building. Well, they didn't. I know. They had no time to find it. A hundred detectives couldn't find it in a month, I assure well, you. I could find it in a day. I'm sorry. What is this? I can't eat that. So, you've decided not to help. Well, fine. I'll just do it myself then. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I have blow-ups of the guy in the ski mask. I'll simply go from building to building and talk to all the doormen. Are you serious? Of course. Do you know how dangerous that is? No. Why? 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 Because doormen talk, that's why. I mean, you start showing that photo to doormen, you're not going to live through the day. That's Good. why. Then give me back my detectives. I can't. I can't. Well, fine. Then you leave me no alternative. 
You don't know how. You don't start showing photos to Dorman until you found the building, and you find the building by going up on rooftops. Come on. Then you uh, find your building with the matching view. Yeah, well, that's how you do it. I got an idea. What? Let's go inside. Oh, no, Marty. Come on, let's go in. Come on, are you let's serious? Mary, I really want to oh. be with you, and I know you want to be with me, too. Come on. Come no, on, we'll wait, talk about no, it no, inside. Marty, wait. Come I don't. I, just Come wait on. a minute. It's Come not. On. Marty, we have to talk. I can't believe you have a 13-year-old son. Marty. I mean, you are just an unbelievably sexy woman. Um, this is my fault. I, I shouldn't have led you on. Led me on? I want to go. We haven't done anything yet. I, I, I'm sorry. I changed my mind. You have an unbelievable no, I, body. I, I don't want to do this. Look, look. Why don't we just take off our clothes? If you touch me, I'll scream! This isn't your fault. I just can't do this. May I help you up? Thank you. Now, if you would be so kind as to turn and face that wall. You make noise and I'll kill you. Turn around. Okay, Simon says, hands above your heads. Look, if you want money, hey. I, I... You think this is about money? Money to me... A means to an end. The end being wealth. Let me see your wallet. Where's your wallet? It's, it's in my back pocket. Take, take it. It's yours. Th thank you. It's very kind of you. Turn around. Open your mouth. What? Your mouth. Open your mouth. I believe I saw gold fillings. Oh, my God. <laughs> now. Open your mouth. should keep you quiet. Now, let me have that watch. Come on. Yours, too. Oh, and those nice gold rings. This dude is your husband?
I would say that you have forfeited any right to wear those rings. Wouldn't you? Stand up. Take off your clothes. Both of you. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's my mistake. Simon says... Take off your clothes. And by the count of three, or something you've always been afraid of, will happen. <laughs> One. Has there been a complaint? No, no, if your roof is in good shape, you'll be fine, okay? But if you don't find it this afternoon, could you either drop the case or borrow detectives from some other department? Is that agreed? Agreed. This is the wrong angle. Yeah, well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I mean, uh... It's a lot of buildings, isn't it? Hmm. We'll find it. Getting close, you know, I can feel it. Mm. Well, I'm feeling hungry <laughs> and exhausted.
I've done maybe 3,000 rooftops. Joe, you've done 13. Now, I have very limited time, you know? I don't think we should be wasting it eating again. We had lunch. Well, you've had lunch, yeah. Hey, see, you know, it's not my fault you didn't eat. Hey, cops do not eat cottage cheese, huh? No, I mean, when was the last time you saw a cop eating cottage cheese? You know, you could have ordered something else. Oh, you sit on that you watch? No kidding, you ruined my appetite. That's oh, the truth. I'm not, hey. look, am I angry? I'm hungry. Uh, I just want to eat. It's no big deal, really. Huh. Besides, I decided to give you an extra day. Huh. That's considerate. Yeah. You raise your head. That better? Why do I do this job? Yeah. Well, it's sure ain't for the money, I'll tell you that. You will not mm. No, I mean, I do it because I love it, that's why. I and mean, it's the same reason you do. But, now, here's a question. Why do we love it? Now, that is a toughie. No. Who the action is. Yeah, right. Oh, I mean, absolutely. That's why I do it, I know. But see, there's something... I don't know. Being on the edge. Hmm? On the edge? <laughs> on the edge of what? On the edge of something that part of you doesn't want to see. Yet another part does? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> Guess we better go, huh? husband's a very lucky man. You want to go same neighborhood as before? Come on, keep with it. He did the most terrible things to me. He took my clothes. I don't have any clothes. If you feel you have to report this, please don't say I was here, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, whatever. Don't tell Joe. Consider it a first installment. How so? I plan to get more from them. Well, it better be a lot more, because this sure ain't worth the risk. Really, you're a one-third partner. The risk each time is mine. But if they go to the law, it comes right to me. <laughs> Willie, they are not going to the law. They're adulterers. 
That's the beauty part of this. You talk real nice, Felix, but I saw that dude come downstairs, and he looked real scared. Now, by some chance, did you do something bad to her? Willie. I left her the recipient of a most salutary experience. Tell Joe, right? No, no, oh. of course not. <laughs> Mary. Mary, honey. Are you all right? I've never seen a place like this. How did you get here? Oh. On the street? On 10th Street. I was looking in the window of a shoe store and I. He came up behind me. I, I felt something in my back, and then he said he had a gun. And that he, if I looked at him or screamed, that he'd kill me. Oh, Mary. I caught a glimpse of him in the window. He had on a, a large hat, like a, a rain hat. I didn't know what to do. Of I was didn't. so scared. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. How did he get you here? Oh, Helen. No. Oh. He brought me here. Through the lobby? Yes. With the gun in your back? Well, I guess so. I don't know. I was too scared to look. I, I, I should have just run. Well. He must have rented the room earlier. Oh, I guess. I don't know. Okay, after he got you up here, you must have seen him then. No. No. As soon as we got here, he put tape over my eyes. Mary, I'm calling Joe. No. No, if you don't tell him, he'll never have to know. Mary, you've been raped. Do you think Joe isn't going to notice? Even your wedding rings are gone. This is an emergency. They don't know where he is. I'm taking you home. Joe! Yes. <laughs> so, now I guess we'll show the mugshot to the door, right? You move too fast. You're going to blow the case completely. We're going to get all the mugshots now. We're going to show them to the super, not the doorman. Doorman talk, remember? Don't want to alert the entire street here. Mm. By the way, your roof looks fine. Thank you. Now, anyway. what is it? Maybe you should take out a billboard, huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Echo 44, over. Inspector, a message just came in. You're supposed to call home immediately. And four. Have the red back. Joe, she's resting now. I swear she's all right. I got an emergency. OK. 
Okay, I'll get a cab. Doctor? Joe, she's okay. I've given her a sedative. She'll be all right. Mary? Mary? Are you all right? She's resting. I know, and says mom's gonna be fine. Well, she's gonna be fine. She's a little scared, that's all. She's gonna be fine, she'll be in the hospital. Am I right? Can we talk? I don't understand. The guy meets her on the street? Yes, 10th Street. She's looking in the window of a shoe store when he comes up behind her and sticks a gun in her back. How did he get her into the hotel? Walks her in. Through the front, through the lobby? Yes. What about the desk clerk? The guy may have checked in before. Or maybe the desk clerk was drunk yeah. or in on it. I don't know, Joe. You should see this hotel. Anything is possible. Did she see what this guy looked like? She never saw him. What? He blindfolded her. On the street? No, in the room when they got in. And he put a blindfold on her. When they were on the street, he was in back of her. All she saw was that he wore like a big rain hat. Look, I checked with Pete. I can stay. Yeah. If you want to go there, I can handle things here. Uh. All right, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'd like a room.
Go ahead. Hey, looking for your winning lottery number? <laughs> nah. A scrap of paper with the address of this dame I was with. We went out, so... I must have left it on the bed. Remember the room number? Yeah, 244. Willie cleaned that room. Willie Johnson, he's a day clerk. Yeah, I see him doing it. That room was one hell of a mess. He must have had some fun up there, huh? No wonder you want that address. You know what I bet? I bet you she was married. Am I right? It's unusual, isn't it? What? Being married? Not for a clerk to clean a room like that. Nah, we all help out around here. In more ways than you would suspect. Oh, I bet. Well, I guess maybe Johnson found that address. <laughs> How long's he been working here? Oh, uh, a couple of months. He should be back tomorrow. Yeah, the victim was blindfolded and gagged with this. No, I'd like you to handle these tests yourself, if you would. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't highly sensitive, you know? Shape like this is hard to do much. No, no, seem to be a few hairs stuck there, maybe some prints. You got a case number? Oh, no, I just want a little paper attached to it as possible. Inspector, the purpose of evidence is to get a conviction in court. If you want to use this in court, I've got to log it in. Log it in. Three, maybe four pieces of white adhesive tape. You can do this while I wait. Huh? If you feel like waiting till tomorrow. What did you find? Find? At the hotel. That's where you've been, isn't it? Yeah, nothing. Clean the room. Thank God to me, Joe. Don't hate me, Joe. What happened? What happened wasn't my fault. Of course it wasn't your fault. Of course it wasn't your fault. 
He knows where I live. He's, he's, he's got my license and my keys. But we'll change the locks this afternoon. But then he'll break in. He's not going to break in. Why? If we're gonna get the guy in there, I gotta have something. Joe, I never saw his face. He put tape over my eyes. How are you gonna get somebody I can't? I found the tape. I thought you said they cleaned the hotel room. Yeah, it was in the basement in the garbage. Why, you wanna tell me about the tape? There's nothing to tell. A piece over my eyes and a piece over my mouth. I don't know. I think there may have been four pieces, so may not even be the tape you used. Dropped it over the lab on the way home. It didn't seem worth bothering you with, so. How many cops have you assigned to this? None. I can handle this. That's against department regulation. Well, I know what I'm doing. Have you Mary, reported Mary, it? Mary, I'm trying to protect you. I'm protect me? Report it when I'm ready. How did you get in the hotel room? Since you obviously didn't have a warrant, you, you picked a lock. Yeah, well, we do it all the time. No, not cops like you, Joe. You throw your career away. Come on, will you? I've seen women have been raped. I don't want you to go through all that. Then I... drop the investigation entirely. Well, what if I do? Are you going to feel secure? Are you going to be all right? Art Helen said you come out. I'm going to call her. Go. Just go. Will you go? Hello? Honey, I'm sure it wasn't him, but I'm going to drive over, OK? Thank you.
Yes, get me Inspector Hearn. So, unless you object, Cirillo will expect your preliminary proposal a week from today. Okay, lunch with the mayor. Diane Benton on the phone. Cirillo would like to hold off uh, until your proposal's in. He's seeing the mayor tonight and he'll mention I'm your... I'm sorry, uh, maybe we could do this tomorrow. Not that you show me a badge. So what kind of drugs? That's none of your business. We don't do drugs here. Well, then you got nothing to worry about, do you? Do you want to tell me about Willie Johnson? He's not in today. Okay, I want Willie Johnson's address, his social security number in the works, please. What the hell is this? Something wrong with the registration cards? Well, oh, George Washington, John F. Kennedy, and Judge Crater. Huh? We've a distinguished clientele. Oh, I'm so impressed, I think I'm going to take him with me. Autographs could be valuable. Thank you. What in the hell was that all about? I want to report a possible shakedown. last night. Took everything with him. Well, did you give him my message? Look, uh, this is very important. When will he be in? Uh, I would think quite soon. He has a meeting at... Right. So where is he? He didn't say. He just left. <phone rings> Narcotics inspector. Sir, chief has been reaching out for you. All day, I think that it would. Yeah, I don't care where you get them from. I want them here right away. And keep it quiet. And once it kept quiet. Three o'clock here. How much time do you need? Inspector, the only way to get tape like this unstuck is to soak it in solution. 
And that takes time. When I have something to report, I'll call. You have a search warrant or something? Huh? Yes, sir, I know. I was open. Show me where I want anything you find. She's resting now. She's okay. I finally convinced her it wasn't him calling. Pete came and took the kids. They were quite upset, Joe. One of us will drive them to school in the morning. Helen, you've done no, more than... No, it's all right. She needs help. Joe, I really thought it was him on the phone. It's okay. Pete took the kids. I understand. It's just for a day. It's just for a day, honey. Right? You know, I think I already got this guy's signature. Joe, if you care about me at all, you, you've got to drop this. These are the registration cards from yesterday. I don't want to hear. I never saw him. What good is this? Mary, look, these names are phony. All of them are, but the handwriting is useful. Where is it? There it is. Look, room 244, Martin Larkin. You know, I got something else as well. This is clerk at the hotel. It's Willie Johnson. I mean, this guy is definitely involved. And look what I find in his closet, right, with a backup. Did you give him my message? I left it on his desk. That doesn't mean, of course, that he uh, saw it. Right. This time, I will hand him the message personally. If you don't call her back, she's going to come here and wait. What do you think from a fingerprint? Uh, I got Willie Johnson's B number. So it's a nasty stuff to his credit. Excuse me. Why is it every time I ask for you, you're out of the office? No, I'm out of the office. I'm out of the touch. So how come nobody knows where you are? I don't know. Very busy. Doesn't answer my question. Well, let me alert my staff so it doesn't happen again. Uh -huh. Oh, you do that. So what's this case you're working on? I expect to be able to give a full report on it shortly. How about right now? Be premature. I really gotta go. Over to that hotel on 40th Street? A complaint was received from its manager. Unorthodox behavior on the part of a certain high-ranking officer. 
I believe that was the gist. Well, one of the suspects was observed inside, and I took what I considered to be the best route to the necessary information. No one's rights were infringed here. John. What's wrong with you, huh? You're supposed to be an administrator now. You're supposed to be reorganizing the Narcotics Bureau. You're not supposed to be in the field chasing people. Chasing people, you've got hundreds of detectives for that. You understand what I'm saying? The situation's been a bit unusual of late. Uh, yeah, a little unusual. Uh, yeah, it's an understatement. Next time I reach out for you, I want you to be there. All right? All right, take off. In. You had an appointment with the therapist at 9 o'clock. I know, I know. I, I, I'll go tomorrow. What are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? I just want to show you someone's picture. I don't want to see it. Come here. I don't want to Mary, see it. Mary, come on. Look at this, please, will you? Look at this. Come on. I think it's the guy who raped you. It's the clerk of the hotel. Come on. He didn't rape me. Well, at least now we're getting somewhere. I mean, at first you said you didn't see her assailant at all. <laughs> Mary. Honey. Listen to me. Honey, if you know Johnson isn't the one, you must have seen the guy, right? That's all right. Maybe you're blocking this out. Come on, that's a good chance you're going to recognize him as soon as I find him. Back a second. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Yeah. You sure? I'm positive. I seen her this week. Good. We were trying to find the guy she checked in here with, and uh, he had in a hat. No, he didn't. No, no rain hat? No, he didn't have no hat. He was a young guy. Good looking. See, I don't believe you. I'm trying to tell you what I remember. She was real fine. She was standing over there. Uh, Pretending to be embarrassed while the boyfriend registered. They all do that. <laughs> so how do you remember this? I mean, you must see a hundred women a day. Yeah, this one was different. She was holding something in her arm, something odd. Uh, a, a tube, a, a, a large cardboard tube. Yeah, I remember that, because I remember thinking, I wonder what she's going to do with that thing. That tube was full of drugs. Am I right? Yes. Well done. Captain Lauder on line one.
Yes, Howard. What did you find? Actually, the results came down last night, but uh, when I saw what they were, I figured something was wrong, so I rechecked. Ah, uh, it's a real puzzle. But I guessed right. There were four separate pieces. And the really interesting thing is that the hair on those tapes not only belong to two different people, they are of the opposite sex. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not, that's not possible. Inspector, someone has fed you a cock and bull story. You do not have one victim. You have two. layups that I maybe should have made. Big deal. Even the pros mess up, Mom. There's no reason to bench somebody. Why did he do it? I don't know. He's been on my case for days. Everything I do is wrong, Mom. Everything. It's unbelievable. Can you talk to him? I'll talk to him. Investigation. It's over. I'm getting anywhere? I'll give it up. I went out today. I even did some shopping. I'm feeling stronger, Joe. More like my old self. I don't think I'm going to need a therapist anymore. Not now. Not anymore.
I want to talk to you. Look, this isn't really the place. Come on. Listen, what happened between you and me has nothing to do with my son. Look, I just don't think... Do you understand? I'm sorry about do the other understand? afternoon. Do you understand? All right, all right. I shouldn't have left you there alone. I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about my son. Look, he missed two easy baskets and we lost the game. Because Marty, of the right... you're doing this to try to get even with me and I won't have it. I want him back on the starting team. I'll think it over. No, there's nothing to think over. I distinctly remember you telling me he was one of the best players you had. You think I'm a fool. Obviously, I am. Look, he's not a bad player. You're a bastard, you know that? I have to go. Listen, you're causing a scene. You ain't seen nothing yet, Buster. You know something? You're even more beautiful when you get angry. I choose to ignore that remark. We will discuss Billy some other time. No! All right. The discussion's over. Either he goes back on the starting team or else. Or else what? Or else I go down that hall. And do what? Tell the principal I had you? Some other guy had you, honey, not me. 